Okay, folks, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, state machines. So when we left last time, um, we have this huge chart here. So what you need to do is make K-maps of DA, DB, C3, C2, C1, and C0. Okay, and if you do that correctly, Here's your chart for DA. Take a look here. Not QA, QB, EN, plus QA, not EN, plus QA, not QB. Okay, so this single one right here is that first one. These two for K mapping would be the QA, not EN, the second one, and the bottom two down here would be that QA, not QB. Same thing with the other one here. Okay, and hopefully you do that with all of a DA, DB, which deals with your D flip-flops, and then C1, C2, C3, and C0. I said those in the wrong order, but you should have those all set up for you. Okay, then you want to go into multi-SIM and hook it up. So let's start with this part. We have the D flip-flops right here. Okay, you're going to have to change your clock so it doesn't go too fast. Okay. And then make sure you put your four C3, C2, C1, and 0. So from the right it goes 1s, 2s, 4s, and 8s. But you have to have your D flip-flop all tied in together first. Okay. Then after that, you may want to put in your... C3, C2, C1, and C0. Take a look. We just checked them in class, but here's our wiring for that. And then the last part, and this is where it gets a little bit messy, is you need to put your other parts right here. Okay, and those, climb, those loop around from your D flip-flops back into here. And this is where you get your other ones from. Okay. And then they go into the first D, the first D flip-flop or D sub A. And the other one goes into D sub B right here. So that's where the inputs for those go in for your D flip-flop. Okay. I've got a three input and right here. Okay. Here's your inverter for enable and not enable. Okay, and that's what that little switch is right here. To be able to not enable after the inverter and to enable when you have that right there. Okay, then you can click on it and go. You're going to change the speed so it's low enough to be able to go through and you can actually see it then. So let's go back to our PowerPoint here and let's take a look. Here's what you should have. Okay, here's your three input and ands. They are all labeled. You should probably label that into yours also. And then we can do a little bit more to simplify it. And we created a nor right there, a not an or by using that part right there, if you remember how to do that. Okay, so you need to go ahead and you've got all the K-mapping done for this. You need to go through. Here are, all, here are the inputs, the input combination area. So when we go to look at this, there are your inputs, enable and not enable. That takes you from one state to the other. And then your input combination logic are all those NANs, ORs, that type of thing. And then we go to the flip-flops next. And the last thing is your output combination logic that we have. Okay. And there's our clock. Just make sure your clock is visible and not too fast, but you can see it going on. Okay. You can see the QA, QB, and you can see them go from four, six, nine, and then one. Okay. So you need to go through and wire that in your multi-SIM. Start from scratch from a brand new one and go ahead. 
and go through the same order. Start with your D flip flops, start with your outputs, uh, put the labels on them so you know what they are. I put my QA and QB right here after DA and DB so you can see what's going on. But I like the way this is arranged. You can see everything that's going on now. Okay. Then for your assignment, once you're done with everything, you've got 4691 working. Then I want you to pick a four digit number. Your last four digits, they cannot repeat themselves. They must be four separate digits. And I want you to make a state diagram for that. Okay, so go through and make your table, make your uh, chart, your mapping. Let's do it as one big thing. Uh, go through and make it working with your uh, multi sim. And if there's time, and I said if there's time, um, maybe we could actually breadboard this. We'll use the indicators, the green indicators that we've got right here on your uh, digital logical board. Okay, that means we'd have to take apart the zero to 59 counter to do that. But I think you'll be just fine in doing that. Okay. I can't think of anything else. Good luck. If you're having trouble, go for it. I'm not really there to help you, but that's okay. We can still do it. And somehow I'll shut this off. There we go.